In this problem, we have two polynomials and we have to add them and find the degree. So because we're adding and there's no like negative signs anywhere or numbers anywhere, there's really just a one here and a one here. We can start by rewriting all of this and not, not writing the parentheses. And the reason is one times all of this is just all of this. So we can just drop those parentheses. So 4x squared y, I'm just gonna rewrite the whole thing uh, without parentheses plus 11. Then we have this plus sign here, and that weird one that I drew. Oh, it's actually not a plus sign. It's actually a negative 2x squared y, right? Because there's a plus here, and so there's a negative here, so this is negative 2x squared y, and plus 5xy, it's the next one, and then plus 2. Okay, so now we have to actually perform the addition. And so the way you do it is, you basically just add the like terms. So what I mean by that is, like here, you have an x squared and a y. So this is an x squared y term. So where else do you have one? Well, over here. And the way I think about it is, you have four of these minus two of these. So four minus two is two, and then you just you keep the x squared y, it just hangs out. So basically, you just subtract the numbers and you keep the symbol. Let's do the xy ones now. 8xy plus 5xy is 13xy. You see, you're just basically adding the numbers and keeping the variables there. And the last part is the easiest part, maybe. 11 plus 2 is 13. And that's it. That's the, uh, that's the final answer. So now we have to find the degree. So to find the degree, you find the degree of each piece. So here, um, what you do to find the degree is you put a 1 here for the exponent, and you add them up. 2 plus 1 is 3. So the degree of this piece is 3. Here it's 1 plus 1, so it's 2. And here we can say the degree is 0. So what's the biggest one? 3. So the degree of the entire polynomial is equal to 3. So to find the degree of the polynomial, you basically find the degree of each term and then take the biggest one. And to find the degree of each term, you add up the exponent. And whenever you have a number, you can just say it's zero, so no big deal. I hope this video has been helpful.